Hey guys, welcome to Cricket Fanatics Magazine and this is your daily show. I'm your host Khalid Moedin and I can see you guys are already live in the comments because we've got a special guest with us today. We've got this under 19 cricketer Dievald Brevis on the show and someone that I've been keeping my eye on recently and I saw him at Cubs Week. Obviously, we saw him play in the Provincial League as well. It's a big step up for the East Under 19s, a lot of lessons that had to be learned. And I've heard of his name go around from different people in cricket. Whenever I speak about who's the next up and coming stars, they've been speaking about him. But before we get going, I know a lot of you guys are coming here just for him. So this, I must take my opportunity to tell you guys to subscribe to this channel. Click that notification bell for all future videos, please. Um, smash that like button if you can so that we can get this video trending on YouTube as well because we're going to get him on the show very, very soon. I just want to know and how you guys are feeling. If you guys want to ask him any questions, get them in the comment section in the live chat, please, and we will um, send it to Devout as well and ask him on the question if we have a little bit of time later on. But just give me my time with him to get to know him a little better first and foremost before we actually ask your questions. So without further ado, introducing to you guys, Diavalt, welcome to the show. Excited to see you here, excited to talk to you. How are you doing, man? I must say I'm doing well, and how are you? No, I'm good, thank you. I'm excited to talk to you. I mean, I've been waiting for this interview for a long time. It's a pity because at Cubs Week, I wanted to talk to you, but because of the bio bubble and all of those things, I couldn't get close to you guys. You guys were like superstars there. I uh, couldn't get close to you. So I'm going to use this opportunity now to have a ch chat with you. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for having me here. Um, first, I just have to say, um, Doc, my English isn't that great, so it's like my cricket. I'm still developing that skill. So, yeah, it's nice. So thanks for having me here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot, man. And your English sounds good to me so far. We've got a lot of comments over here um, from a lot of guys over here. Harris Kusia saying, um, I'm, um, go Breviki, uh, or Breviki, or Breviki, go Brevis. <laughs> Yes, man, A, B, which I'm going to get with you or get to, or into you a little bit later uh, because there's something that one of my questions are going to be about that to you. So there's a lot of comments coming in here. I'm sure you can see it on your side as well. So, dear Walt, let's start at the beginning. Yes, I, I want to know your, <laughs> yeah, I want to know what your journey was. How did you get into cricket? What is your story? Yeah, so it started from the age from I was like born. Like, I have to say, um, Leaf gave me a talent to play cricket, and that's where it all starts. And when I play cricket, I want to honor him in all ways, always and always. So, yeah, it started by playing in the backyard cricket, and yeah, the first thing that I picked up was a ball and then I just started bowling and then um, I think I got my first bat from the age of three four years old and then yeah the cricket bug just bite me yeah I mean we all got better by the cricket bug I would say um, from a young age some of us as fans and obviously you as a player so this is where I'm going to talk about your style and the way you bat because I've noticed something and I'm not sure if I'm the only one that sees it or many people see it but I look I see a lot of similarities in the way you bat compared to A.B. de Villiers now I want to know is that one of your role models yeah A.B. de Villiers role models from age growing up I was watching him play um, I always had my A.B. de Villiers shirt that my mother made for me. And just the way he plays and he has great mindset and he likes to entertain people. And that from young, so I was the same. I like to entertain people and to, to um, make a big show in our bat. So definitely A.B. is someone I look up to. And if I can only be playing like 10% like him, I would love to play like because I saw that your S under 19 shirt you've got 17 on your back um, did you ask for that number yeah it's quite a long story so 
Um, my, I met AB the first time um, at Arfis. So he also attended school where I went from school. And then, yeah, we had a, we have a relationship from that day on. And then I was at one of our play with the number seven. Then, yeah, he said, shop, sure, play with it. It's perfect. So, yeah, it's growing up. Um, having him as a role model and someone looking up to in the cricket world, yeah, number 17 is always the number that stood out for me. That's an excellent story, actually. Wow. So when you first met him, what was it like? Um, what, what was your first reaction when you first saw AB and he came to speak to you? It was an amazing experience. So, um, the first, I couldn't get the word out. <laughs> I was just dumb. I just listened at all the stories he spoke and yeah, I was just amazed and I couldn't ask him anything like a small child that can't get a word out. That's, that's excellent. Um, so when you look up on that honors board and you see the likes of, I mean, at Afis, of course, AB de Villiers, Faf Duplessis as well, names on there, was that something that you always try to aspire to? Did you look up there that board and just keep dreaming or envision what you really wanted to do at Afis? Sorry, sir, can you please repeat the question? When you look up on that honors board and you see the names of like A.B. de Villiers and Faf Duplessis and all those legends that went to Afis that played for the Proteus, did it help you um, envision that you could play there one day? And how did you use that as motivation? Yeah, so the first time I was at office, we had a tour through the school and then in the cricket clubhouse, there's the shirts of all the Protea players and players that also played overseas. And then the one number always that stood out is the number 17 with the Villiers on the back. And it, it's me as a player and it's a big dream for me to represent my country and to play all over the world. And, the T20 um, tournaments and everything, but the main goal is to play for the Pretty House one day. Of course, that's everybody's dream. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about your experience um, playing the longer format, possibly for the first time, three-day cricket with regards to playing for with S under 19 against now older guys, experienced guys that have played it for so long. Um, it was a difficult outing, but what did you learn from that experience? Um, so it was a first for a few of our guys in the team, and it's it's a different game. It's and everyone has to learn the skill of the, developing that three day format. And our team right in that. And I feel like the next um, three day game, our team and I will do good. I think everyone is learning and everyone is following the coaches and everyone's advice so yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff to learn about that format and seeing guys play but the main thing how you learn i believe is by playing and that's one of the great things that the environment here at the s under 19 team is you are allowed to make mistakes and if you make mistakes it's fine so that's great and everyone is going to make mistakes and that's okay with the coaches and with everyone and every individual on our team is giving everything and i believe everyone will improve for 100 percent every single game that's an excellent answer but um i want to ask you like what was the message from the coach um when when you guys were bowled out for such a low total um after that you guys continuously improved so into the 50 over games and you guys improved tremendously. Obviously, you beat Western Province and then you beat your own <laughs> province daughters uh, as well in the final game with you scoring a massive half century. So talk to me about the messages from the coaches to give you guys that confidence to kick back after that perf first performance of the league. Yes, so that's just always... The big thing was 
that everyone should know is that, as I told, the coaches told us, it's fine to make mistakes in the beginning because it is it is playing against seniors. Those guys have so much experience out there. And, yeah, it's just like the coaches was taught and they told us that and they were any, um, they didn't they didn't give any negative um on questions or anything they didn't have any negative things to tell us and that's a great thing so there weren't any negative things that they told us in the team room and they just told us keep playing and backing your skills the main thing that's why every individual back then everyone goes out there with the mindset to play aggressive mindset that's the one thing that to accomplish and heading to the and to uh to a maybe in august so we want to play aggressive cricket with aggressive mindset so that means by backing off playing low risk but you have to have that aggressive mindset mm. That's excellent insight. I'm going to get into some of the questions from the guys in the comment section. You know that some of them are going to be quite funny. So uh, let's see. <laughs> what do you do when you're bored? Do you cause trouble often? <laughs> yeah, me and... Yeah, we like making pranks with the friends here because we are honorable and there's not much to do so we will pull pranks on each other and everything so yeah it's nice having good friends and making fun memories for the future so i would definitely be like making pranks here <laughs> And then we've got one from your captain. He says, uh, being in a bio bubble, how do you fit in your academics into it, into that? Being in the bio, oh, yeah, the academics is quite difficult because I have my two math teachers, um, Joshua Stevenson and Ethan Cunningham. So they try to fertile um, it in Afrikaans for me, but yeah, it's quite difficult. So. Yeah, I'm just trying my best to keep up with the academics, but yeah, I'm here for cricket, so the academics are second for me, to be honest. Awesome. Okay, so hey, Deva, big fan of yours from the US. What would you say you're most looking forward to when it comes to regularly playing professional cricket? Um, sorry, so can you please repeat that question, please? Yeah, so he just wants to know what you are looking forward to about playing professional cricket one day. What are you looking forward to about that opportunity when it happens? Yo, it's just, it's about, it's so amazing. Like from a young age, it was my dream to play cricket. And if I'm playing in front of crowds and entertaining them and, always to just give them a show so that's what i would probably looking the most forward for and to play all over the world and everything a very simple question how do you hit big sixes well, um, i think from a young age um i always had a good good ball striking ability and yeah you know, just I think it plays a big role and not trying to hit the ball too hard just to stroke through the ball and your weight transfer and everything just has to be be perfect to hit the big six. <laughs> okay then we've got previous currently international a pace bowler you like? Who is the international pace bowler that you that you like watching? So a pace bowler that I like, like playing now international cricket. Mm -hmm. 
Jo, ähm, uh, yes, I must say, I love Kachi Robota. So he's definitely one of the best base building now in the world. So, yeah, definitely Kachi Robota. Cool. Okay, and then who is your current favorite international player? I just have to give it to Ivy de Villiers. Okay. Because and it's my hero from the age. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, if it, and if it's not AB, who else would you pick? Sorry, sir? If, if it wasn't AB, who else would you pick? Sorry, sir? Um, I would pick Virat Kohli. <laughs> okay, he's best friend, so that's cool. Uh, Ian Naidu wants to know. Uh, Ian Naidu wants to know. Will you sign his cricket bat? Yeah, I'll definitely sign his cricket bat. <laughs> okay, cool. How quick is Josh Stevenson? Yeah, Justin he bowls quite. He bowls very fast, mm. and yeah, he's a great cricket player. Nice having him in the team. He's a very good team guy. He always, if he gives his everything out there for the team, like in the th uh, three day game, he gave his all out there with the bat and ball, and that's just lovely to see. I think he faced over on balls trying to get the draw for the team, and that's just great. Everyone in our team is like that. They play for the badge on their chest. Mm -hmm. So now this question is going to be a difficult one. So it's multiple questions. It's from Jay Smith. He says, who's your favorite player in the S under 19 team? He says, besides George. And then afterwards, he says, pick me. <laughs> yo, uh, so, yo, it's quite difficult. Is watching now. And yo, it's, Everyone, um, I've, I believe I have a great relationship with everyone. Um, so I really, me and George has a great relationship, although he's in PE and I'm in Pretoria. But yeah, we we were great friends. We we made we know each other from probably weeks and everything. But yeah, me and Jade, we have a good. <laughs> And friendship, yeah. And he also likes pulling pranks. Cool. So one more, and that is, what is your favorite shot to play? Yo, um, I actually have a few favorite shots, but one of the my favorite shots to play would be um, playing straight in the V. And it must be a stray drive or a cover drive. Okay, excellent. So, Devald, thanks a lot for coming on the show. We are definitely going to catch up again. Um, we're going to talk again. Um, definitely, there's no doubt about that. I um, hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll speak to you again very soon. Um, thank you very much for having me here. It was really an amazing experience, and I would love to be again on the show. Yeah, no doubt about it. And your English is good, so don't be too harsh on yourself. I'll speak to you again. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep improving this skill because my teammates are giving me trouble about it. <laughs> laughing for me and everything, but yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's chat to you again soon. Thank, take care, Deva. So guys, that's our interview with Devald. We're going to obviously talk to him again. Um, we had some issues with the internet, of course, and with the breaking up, etc. But I hope you guys enjoyed the interview as much as you uh, as you heard of it. Um, I just want to break some um, other news as well. It's not really breaking the news, but I just want to talk about the T20s and, of course, Tribere Shamsi from the Titans, obviously, number one T20 bowler in the world at the moment. He went up the rankings, so that's excellent. There's an there's obviously a piece on our website talking about it. Um, we gave some quotes about what he feels, what it feels like to be a lot, dear, about for coming on the show too. We'll chat to you again very, very soon.
Take care, everyone.